Hello everyone, taking a look at Championship Manager 4 today. Um, what did the developers get right and wrong with this? Well, firstly, there was a huge problem with the tactics and just how the match engine worked with that. That killed the game to start with. You just ran up a, a midfielder or you had that. I know on CMO 102 it's quite a powerful position to have, but on this game it just completely broke it. If it, if it wasn't for that, just overloading the striker positions, the two the central defenders of the AI or even three of them couldn't pick up three markers and a runner. Um, but what things it did get right, this was big and I'd have loved to have seen this in CMO 102. I don't think the developers on it would ever be able to have it, add it, but it was the closing down, own half or always. It made such a big difference if you was trying to create like um, deep pressing tactics where you just let the team come on to you but intensely press in your own half and you could actually see it in the match engine which was pretty cool and obviously it was the introduction to 2D as well um, which was pretty big you play a game in 2D when's the next one I might be able to run one 14th for the 8th what's the date on this yeah that's final friendly But yeah, the other problem with the game was the speed issues, like run more than three leagues on it and it run at a snail's pace. And you consider like on a, on a quick modern PC now, if you was playing Football Manager, you could probably run, what, 15 leagues on it? This this game here would run even slower, only running three leagues. I don't know if it was a programming issue at the time. or. But I, I remember reading something years and years ago, it was... Um, the match incidents, like after it used to load a game of highlights, like when you play through a game, it used to save it onto the hard drive and into the temp files, and I think it used to completely slow the slow how the game run, and it used to clog up the game. The more you played, the more it saved onto the temp files. There was a way of cleaning it, and I know there was a way of speeding it up a little bit, but it didn't really make a huge difference. Obviously, you can use like game speeders, but it used to crash it <laughs> if you like run it at about times ten. Like, look at this. I'm only running one league, and it's not even getting to the to the game yet and I've got a quick pretty quick PC as well it looks like it's going to crash every two seconds on the modern computer as well look all this freezing and shit let's see what it I just want to quickly play I'll run a little TD game because that brings back some memories I just remember on the game you all you had to do was buy a really quick team but the but the main problem with it I'll get to the when it gets back to the screen was a lot of the old clubs well not the old clubs but if you go to a, like a, a top club like my one at Milan you click at the um, attributes of a player and then like someone like Pirlo who would have been world class at the time you go to like Sunderland and just click on any of their midfielders it didn't really cause a big gap in the game so like someone like Stefan Swartz or someone like that or who, who would be really average like I don't know Rainer maybe let's go in their reserve team Look, there isn't even that much of a huge difference like how they distribute the attributes and he's like someone that probably isn't even Premier League standard they didn't the way the attributes were used on it like there wasn't a, a big gap between top quality players and average players. It just made it so easy to squad build and challenge the first season. Like taking a third division Scottish team all the way, winning cups when you're a third division team on it. <laughs> I remember being Rangers and Celtic with just a quick team of like three transfers. And really crap ones that had, had like nine finishing, but they were just all quick. And then you play your little three out front formation or something like that and you just romp teams. Anyway, let's get to a game because the match engine is still. I still think the little 2D screen is pretty cool. Once it decides to get to it, Jesus Christ, how slow is this? I wonder how long this. I can't even remember how long would the season take on this back in the day. Hurry up. It just feels like it wants to crash, doesn't it? 
maybe I'm just using a dodgy download of it or something, I don't know. See, where's it now, Aiden? Where's my friendly? Give me my friendly. I don't give a fuck about the Portuguese cock or whatever it is. Oh, I must be all the scout in there. This is an old game I loathe. I had I've had on the um, on my PC for years. <laughs> I've never I've never played it. What's the date on it? A two, yeah. So that would have been the first season. I probably just got pissed off and then closed it. <laughs> Holy fuck, I see people sometimes like, oh yeah, like on the um, CMO 102 site saying how much they want to um, edit and update the game and I'm just thinking, you want to sit there and just play your few few leagues and then watch this. <laughs> it's like death. How many leagues did I fucking load on this? I loaded this up because I tried to load a, a new game and it kept crashing. Uh, leagues. Oh, I did load quite a few, that's probably why. But I just want to get to the friendly, where is it? I think it's why I, didn't, I never played it. Even when um, I was in the mood for a bit of a, a nostalgic uh, CM4 session. To be fair, the game, I remember the game still being really fun. It was just, once you got to know about a Diablo type tactic with a, with a runner, or you just played free up front, it just, that was it then. You weren't losing the game. <laughs> Especially if you started with a with a half decent team. So when's the friendly then? Nineteenth of the eighth. It's the nineteenth of the eighth today. Oh, I must have put it on um, managers. Oh yeah, that was one other thing as well. I want to show that. I can't be asked to play the fucking. I don't. Know. I could. Start, I could do a ranger friendly, can I? Hang on, I have to go to the settings once it decides to stop spazzing out. Oh, the pain. God, no, it's taking its time. Right. Um, I think that was why. That was a because in the manager you had a lot more options. Like for it, if you go on holiday, it's a bit more like FM themed where you could uh, have your assistant take over friendlies, handle training, stuff like that, which kind of uh, helps it fly a bit a bit better than CMO one hundred two, like kind of delegated stuff. Um, no, I don't want him to take control. Let's arrange one and play a game. Arrange friendly. Can I choose my reverse? Yeah, choose. Winter series, don't tomorrow. It's done. Manager options. Assistant manager, yeah. Wonder how long it takes to do a day with all these leagues loaded up. It's such a shame how it runs so slow because it, I still play it. I I always get like a craving like very occasionally to want to play like O three O four or Championship Manager four. I just I just think I just think the, uh, I just find the two uh, D pitch funny. It just makes me laugh. Other uh, little blobs running around. Put the, put the sound on for the game. Two years later, it's still going. God, it must be near there now, surely. Can I clear squad? Unpick all. Oh, yeah, you can ask assistant to pick as well. It's a bit... Uh, it's a bit later FM. You can kind of see how it kind of started to turn into FM at this point. Very slowly, just just with a few features and just a couple, a couple of the things you could add. 
let's just do that and just start the game um, go to match um, where's the options highlights key speed very fast and but to be fair even on very fast it's not very fast let's put some sound on edit preferences where's the sound usual players play sound that's oh, so the sounds on but it's not okay let's go I haven't got my headphones in that's probably why <laughs> Oh yeah, I can hear it now. That's been disallowed. God, it runs slow. Let's be out. Uh, does it run quicker? 